Hi, everyone. Welcome. I'm very excited today to have our September speaker, Cece Doucette, with me. I'm really excited about her topic and about what's to come. Cece, welcome. How are you? I'm terrific, Heidi. Thank you so much. And I'm really excited to come to both of your meetings in September. Yes. And let me remind everyone, those meetings are Tuesday, September 20th at 1130 a.m. at Keller Williams in Westford and on Wednesday, September 21st at 6 p.m. at KJ's Cafe in Chelmsford. Now, the title of CC's talk is Wireless Radiation Risks and Safer Technology Tips. So I'm really excited about this. So Cece, why don't you start out by telling us a little bit about yourself and briefly about your nonprofit. All right, thank you so much. So like most of us, I had no idea there was anything to even question about today's wireless technology because it's so convenient and it's kind of how everybody runs their lives now. And then an engineer friend tipped me off, there could be biological risks. So as we'll talk about in our meetings, I helped our schools become the first in the nation to even begin taking baby steps for protection. Um, so people who have headaches, nosebleeds, nausea, dizziness, anxiety, depression, cognitive impairment, we're getting pulsated with microwave radiation from all things wireless all the time. So I, in a million years, never imagined that I would be speaking with you today. But once I knew that I had helped bring all this wireless into my kids' schools when I ran the local education foundation, I'm morally obliged to help people learn about this and to, you know, I can't make anybody do anything, but I can provide you with the facts that you might like to take a deeper look at and come back and say, wow, who knew it says right in our phones not to keep this on our bodies? Or wow, who knew you could measure this and watch it go way off the charts? Right. And we'll be doing a lot of that um, during our talk when I'm with you guys in Chelmsford and Westford. Um, but I also have connected with many of the world's leading scientists and doctors and many people throughout Massachusetts, New Hampshire, who figured this out, and we're all working very hard on this. So I have become a project under a nonprofit called Massachusetts for Safe Technology, and uh, we've got a plethora of information for everybody to just go look for yourselves, and if this resonates, we can certainly help you get to safe technology. And I think you that really speaks to why you're passionate about it is I think, you know, I really hear that helping and and wanting to make things the best they possibly can can be. So talk a little bit about um, your passion for this. Well, I had two kids in school mm -hmm. and I had run seven campaigns to get wireless infrastructure, to get iPads and Chromebooks and smart boards and all what we thought was this great new technology. Mm -hmm. And this was back in 2013 when I figured out what I'd done for the last <laughs> eight years. So I started investigating and um, I can't not do this work because we are literally frying our kids. Mm -hmm. We gave every child in the pandemic a wireless tablet to access their education with not one shred of safety information. Mm -hmm. So I just see so much opportunity to help people feel good again. Mm -hmm. We were at epidemic proportions of anxiety and depression in this country before the pandemic. Right. And how long had we been jacking ourselves with microwave radiation, which scientifically we know is a neurotoxin and an immunosuppressant. So that's why I do this and that's why I care. And that's why I'm so grateful to <laughs> speak to your chapter. We've done presentations in my chapter in the Metro West group as well. Yeah. And I think the other piece of this that's really interesting is I think it's prime um, prime for this time, given that we were all at home, we were all doing Zoom. We found this, this new way of communicating through technology that we want and we need to continue. Mm -hmm. So how do we do that safely? So that's the message that I appreciate you bringing to us. Yeah. So let's go to what is your favorite part about being a dot in this 10th, the 10th anniversary year of being a dot? <laughs> I know. Well, you know, I was empty nesting and I'm one of 10 children. And I was like, well, where did everybody go? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and what I didn't anticipate is that when the last child leaves home, a lot of people sell their family houses and they leave. So not only did I lose my children, but so many of my dear friends were leaving. And I'm like, I need people. So a friend said, well, you must know about the polka dot powerhouse. And I said, the what? <laughs> And so she invited me to come as her guest to a meeting. And I just loved the energy. I loved connecting with all these amazing women who were there for many reasons. But the yeah. connection is truly what I value. And I'm so excited that your chapter is back in person. Our chapter has just gone back in person too. Yeah, it's a really great feeling, great excitement around being back together in person. Mm -hmm. um, so Cece, what is one unique thing personally about yourself that you would like to share with us all? I love to roller skate. Ah, very good. <laughs> so awesome. If anybody wants to go roller skating, Roller Kingdom in Hudson on Wednesday nights, you can get in for like a dollar or two dollars and rent skates for a dollar or two dollars. No way. Yeah. That's so awesome. If anyone wants to come play with me, I'd love roller skating play dates. I know a couple of Merrimack Valley peeps who roller skate as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if they, they hook up a connect real quick with you. Awesome. So to everyone who's uh, listened to this today, I just want to remind you to invite you can invite guests to any of these meetings and they are local. They're on Tuesday, September 20th at 1130 at Keller Williams in Westford and Wednesday, September 21st at 6 p.m. at KJ's Cafe in Chelmsford. So I hope you'll come and hear Cece in person and meet her and uh, learn more about what's going on with technology. Cece, thank you so much. Thank you, Heidi. I look forward to seeing you this month.